Let's get over to meteorologist Sam Schreier now on a weather alert day. So I got a lot to cover today. I'm going to start off with to get you outside. The winds aren't overly strong and the temperatures are chilly, but I, I don't think it was that terrible. Really 30s in Colorado Springs to Pueblo. Uh, a couple of in 30s like La Junta and Canyon City, but some 20s off to the mountains and the valleys. Today is weird because we are actually going to be quite warm before any of this snow and that challenges snow accumulation because warm pavement with the sun to start the day is going to want to melt almost one to two inches for areas like Fremont County and Pueblo County. So we are going to get to the 60s and actually pretty close to 70 in a couple areas before our snow hits. Now we worry about wind first for those of you over the mountains. It's going to be windy pretty much all day. I'd say from late morning through the whole afternoon, but the cold front will hit hardest in the plains. So for those of you east of the interstate, we could have wind gusts in between about 30 to close to 60 miles per hour, probably a lot of 40 and 50 mile per hour gusts. So this will cause blowing dust and probably fairly widespread blowing dust for those of you east of I-25. The cold front hits us after two o'clock in the afternoon. So afternoon, end of the day, windy and dusty. For those of you on the interstate, the winds will gust later today and tonight about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Now we're going to get snow after this. Snowfall will favor areas of the Palmer Divide, Teller County, but then some of our mountains and valleys. So I have two to four inches in Colorado Springs. We'll get snow in the plains, but the warm pavement from the day will eat a lot of that and there could be rain at first. Now there could even be some thunder snow favoring some of the Pikes Peak region. There's just enough storm energy from Briargate to the Palmer Divide. So Briargate to northern El Paso County that some thunderstorms could develop on the edge of the system. But really then thunder snow is a possibility. You might hear it if you live a little farther up north and that'll enhance snow. It's going to want to bring about two to four inches across the bulk of town, but there'll be areas of three to five inches, four to six up north. Teller County is kind of between four to eight inches of snow, depending on where you are. So we know the snow hits us late today, really more tonight though. A couple flurries are left over Tuesday morning. The bulk of your Tuesday is dry, just a few flurries in the evening and some snow to rain shower chances from Wednesday through Friday. Pueblo, we will get snow tonight. Now, if the snow bands don't settle in Pueblo, it'll be a quick two inches of snow. If the snow bands hit us, we could pop a little over two inches. So we're just kind of waiting to see how things go. When we get a look at temperatures outside towards Canyon City, I've got things in the 60s today with snowfall happening tonight. We're going to continue to see rain to snow chances through the end of the week. And finally, Woodland Park. Remember, like a three to seven inch snow possible, four to eight inches in some places through tonight. And then I think we've got more moisture chances and snow chances through the week.